Derwin James made a strong push to be the Defensive Rookie of the Year. There wasn't anything he couldn't do for the Chargers. It started with his ability to sack quarterbacks, taking down Mahomes in week one, one of three and a half sacks he had on the season. He played all but 10 snaps for the Chargers, led him in tackles, solo tackles, total tackles. He could cover tight ends, as he does here. His ability to cover tight ends Charles Clay on this seam route, running just past the 30, using his length, staying on the upfield shoulder here, cluing Josh Allen. And when it came time to make a break on the ball, he did it clean, getting in front of that pass and knocking it down. He could intercept passes, as he does against Ben Roethlisberger here in a late December game that gave him a push to the playoffs. Vance McDonald at tight end, number 85, is going to run the deep over. And Derwin James is going to run with him in man coverage. Again, staying on that upfield shoulder, cutting it when he sees that Roethlisberger puts a little too much helium on the ball. Not only does he take it away, but he uses his considerable athletic ability to be able to pick up a lot of yards after the catch, put the Chargers in a good position. He could tip passes, as he does here, in zone coverage, cluing the quarterback here against the 49ers, reading the eyes of Beathard, feeling the league's leading tight end receiver this year, George Kittle, taking his eyes never off the prize of the ball, feeling Kittle and knocking the ball away. He also tipped passes at the line of scrimmage on a full out blitz here against those 49ers, coming screaming off the edge, timing the leap, using his length here to get that ball down with his right paw and bat it down like he was blocking a volleyball. He chased plays down from behind all year, even when the Raiders knew that the blitz was coming. And Derek Carr points it out, and he changes the play. Even when they all know that, Derwin James had the ability to flatten down the line of scrimmage and make the plays, leading this team in tackles. A sure tackler, missed very few. Third down stops, here he is against Travis Kelsey in the up slot on third and four. Not only making the stop here on this arrow route by Kelsey, but stopping the Chiefs on third down forcing him to punt in a key AFC matchup in late December. But mostly what Derwin James did better than anybody in the league is he saves touchdowns. It started week three when Goff tries to get this ball to Gerald Everett and he intercepts it in the end zone, taking that touchdown away. No, Derwin James doesn't save lives, but he does save touchdowns. What about this fourth and one play by the Raiders. Here he is at the line of scrimmage, number 33, reading outside in, getting a feel for the play. Here it is on the fly sweep. Perfect position right here, knees bent, setting the edge, and then bouncing inside and stopping the Raiders from scoring on fourth down. And the celebration was on. Saving touchdowns. It was a common theme. And there's Derwin James waving to Josh Rosen, waving to him. I got you covered. Don't test me. Eyes on Rosen, cluing all the way. When Rosen bounces outside, he comes back inside and uses his length and athletic ability to save that touchdown from being scored. How about down on the one yard line, coming off the edge, screaming off the edge, and taking James Conner down for no gain at the one yard line? How about doing the same thing here on the right there at the top, number 33, against Joe Mixon? No wide receiver, Tyler Boyd, can get in front of him. Comes in clean and takes down a 230 pound back, keeping him out of the end zone. How about here, man to man coverage against Devontae Booker? Derwin James in the end zone, between the B and the R, reads the flat route perfectly, comes up and makes the tackle for no gain, keeping Booker out of the end zone. Clean, one-on-one, -on -one, open field tackle. How about his ability to play center field against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, the number one offense in football. When Thomas goes in motion, he's gonna run the deep post. Derwin James in his back pedal, read the play perfectly. Not only does he read the play perfectly, but he's able to flip his hips here and get his eyes back for the ball, locate the ball, and then lay out using that length, the long arms, to save that touchdown. Now Derwin James is as important as saving lives, but he saved a lot of touchdowns for the Chargers, and I can't wait to watch him in his sophomore season with the Chargers.